Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Guess what time it is? I was just looking at the watch. 11 p.m. Karbala time. Hashtag Al Antis live. Shlonkum. Now, Shlonkum is an Iraqi word uh, that means how y'all doing. Now, if you hear Iraqi, you, I guarantee you 100% he's going to say Shlonkum, either Shlonkum, Galbi, you know. You won't, find, you, won't, you won't find a more romantic guy than an Iraqi. Shlonkum, Galbi. Shlonkum, Chebdi. Galbi means heart, Chebdi means liver. Uh, Chebdi, Chebdi, the, the liver of my liver. I don't know how they come up with this. But, anyways, welcome to episode 9 of hashtag Al Anti. And let me say this it's always an honor for me to host this show for you guys. And hashtag Al Anti is back live. We're moving too quick, episode 9. Uh, but tonight's topic uh, is, is very interesting. You know, if uh, it's one, and it's also sensitive, but one uh, that will, you know, make you happy and one that also can get you kicked out of the house uh, depending on your uh, marital status. But anyways, let's go check what's trending in the world and we're back very short. Now we all know that uh, Stephen Hawking is w one of the greatest scientists ever known. Uh, but this guy, he passed away a few hours ago, uh, one of the most brilliant uh, British scientists. Uh, now this guy uh, was a physicist, a theoretical uh, phys a physicist, who overcame a, d a devastating disease to publish books, uh, you know, proverbing the, 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 the mysteries of the world, of the universe. Now Hawking uh, was also a cosmologist, astronomer, Mathematician and an author of numerous books, including the, the 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 landmark *A Brief History of Time*, which sold over 10 million copies. Now, this guy was handicapped, and he could do that. You know, now you find uh, you know young men and girls uh, saying, "What am I going to do with my life?" and all that. But anyways, uh, this was the top headline uh, around the world. Now, the second, uh, you know, a few days prior to uh, International Happy Day, and we, trust me, we have a very special episode for that. You guys gotta you know watch out for that. Uh, but uh, CNN had its list for the top three countries, uh, the happiest countries, at, as as they say. And uh, now the first one, or no no, we'll we'll, we'll go from uh, third to to, to to first. Now the third is Denmark. And now oh my God, uh, is that is that photoshopped? Is that real? That's real. Wow. I mean, I'd wish to go there, but I don't know if these guys have been to, you know, Canada. Canada has amazing views. Anyways, and now the second place comes in Norway. Uh, Norway is pretty nice as well. Uh, they got, wow. Wow, you only see that in like, you know, the, 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 only in Norway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but yeah, and the current happiest country in the world is Finland. Let's, let, let's check out what Finland has. Now, Finland, uh, the population, I think, is less than a million. Uh, or, or, or over a million, but yeah, it's way nicer than the child. Uh, the child is like some random city, or not random area in Karbala. Uh, it's not nice, but you know, if everyone wants to live a happy life, go and visit Finland, Denmark, or uh, Norway. But let's go jump in to what's today's topic. You guys ready for this? Let's go. Now, if, if you're a single man, before I do that, let's say Assalamu Alaikum Rahmatullahi Wa Barakatuh Shlonkum once again That means how are you doing um, But tonight's topic, if you're single um, I suggest that you know You keep watching But it's not the right topic for you Because uh, you're about to know But you know, you need to go get married first But tune in to find out some tips uh, That after you get married, what you, sh what you should do uh, You know, go find a wife, enjoy your life uh, And inshallah, you find that beautiful And of course, religious wife at the same time But for my married men, you guys ready? Tonight's topic is for you guys, you're in for a treat. Now, it's customary, you all know, that's customary around the world um, uh, to, 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 to get married, uh, to procreate, and to find that suitable wife for you. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, you got to be ready. Uh, you need to be matured physically and mentally at the same time. Uh, you know, fall in love, love at first sight. I know these fairy tales, you know, live a, a, a happy ever after life. Uh, you know, some, some uh, you know, beauty and the beast type of stuff. Uh, but anyways, now, we all know that, uh, and you probably all see people marrying more than one wife. Uh, you know, we always hear of people, particularly Muslims, marrying a second, a third, and sometimes you even find a fourth wife. 
Um, but listen to this. Now, Araqi MP, uh, now this lady, uh, Jamila Al Ubaidi, has encouraged men to polygamous marriages by granting them monetary rewards and other benefits as well. Now, from the video I see in this lady right here, she encourages men, I think she's a widow or divorcee, but I know, probably looking for a man to get married to. But anyways, uh, she, she says she, she's willing to give a piece of land or a house and a monthly income for the guy that marries more than one wife. Uh, and depending on, the, on you know, the, the number of wives, you get to have a lot of money, you know what I mean, and, and a house. Uh, now, uh, you guys know why I came to Iraq. Uh, why? No, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, but it's, Iraq is the best destination if you're voting for her. It's election time now. And if you're voting for her, the best destination whoop, goes up the prices of airlines. Anyways, uh, now supporters of polygamy, um, but we, sh we should always look at this. Now, apparently, Muslims need more than one wife, you know, because that just starts from be hitting the roof. Uh, but no, I'm kidding. But no, seriously, uh, there are reasons for multiple marriages. Sometimes it's uh, infertility or avoiding adultery, as we'll get to talk about what the reasons are. Uh, but supporters of polygamy uh, claim that it already exists in many countries uh, and it should be illegal in the West. I'm telling you, you guys are in for a treat. The U.S. Constitution, for example, promises liberty for all of its citizens uh, and, uh, you know, uh, within its reach. Liberty that includes certain specific rights that allow the people to define and express their identity. The 14th Amendment guarantees the right of marriage to all its citizens. On the other hand, we have people who claim that polygamy is an outdated phenomenon, an outdated concept that was used purely for reproduction because back then the lifespan was only 40 years old. Now according to them, there is no excuse nowadays for polygamy and polygamous marriages uh, because you know, like now we have 7 billion people around the world and uh, you know, the, the, the lifespan is a lot higher to 80 years, um, over 80 years sometimes they say and then uh, you know, now uh, medicine is, is allowing women uh, to have children over the age of 40. Now they're saying that the ancient need for procreation no longer exists. I don't know if I agree with that, but you know, uh, we'll get to see. But this brings us to tonight's question. You guys ready? Should polygamy be accepted? What do you guys think? I'm not going to say what do I think, because uh, we don't want to get into uh, different ways. But you know, should polygamy be accepted? We all know that polygamy in the religion of Islam is permissible. But should it be accepted in Western societies? Is it normal for you to have two, three, or four wives? Let us know on hashtag LNT because the number is showing up right now to tell you guys what to call it. It's plus 964 774 067 1836. But to let us know what you guys think, and you know, uh, if, uh, if you guys do consider marrying, you know, the lines are now open uh, just to let you guys know uh, to tell us what you guys think about tonight's question. Let me repeat tonight's question. Should polygamy be accepted? Now, you know, if, if, you, if, you, if you are married and you're trying to call, you know, you're going to the bathroom, you know, you're going to the garage, or you're leaving the house so you don't have to see, you know, wanna, you want your wife to hear you, you know, you can uh, always call us, you know, and your name won't be disclosed. Trust me when I say that. I will make up a name for you. But, yeah, uh, in, a, in a fake country. But your voice, if, you, if your wife is watching, then she's going to know your voice. But anyways, uh, do let us know, because... Tonight's question is, should polygamy be accepted? Don't be afraid of your wives, man. Just call in and let me know. Anyways, we'll go to a very short break, and we'll be back very short. I, mean, I, I talked a lot. Let me just get, get you a, a drink of water. Back very short. Yeah, I'm still trying to open this water but you know welcome back um but yeah i mean uh we are getting a few phone calls in uh let's hope uh you know but, but i want to say this before we actually get to see if women call or men call i'll give you a prediction from right now if a woman's gonna call she's gonna say oh my god i don't want my man marrying another woman uh you know i, I want my man all for myself you know se selfish ladies come on you know but you know, I'm kidding. Uh, but you know, and then men are gonna call saying, uh, Salamun alaikum, brother. 
tonight's topic is very interesting. I would like to get married again and all that good stuff. Uh, but uh, according to many, polygamy is a phenomenon that has existed for centuries now, uh, for thousands of years uh, in different cultures, uh, cultures uh, and countries around the world. Now, Islam did not invent uh, this phenomenon or this concept. Uh, it actually it, it, it started before Islam or existed before Islam. Uh, if, if, if you were to, to, to look at Genesis chapter 4, uh, verse 19, um, Lamech, who was the grandson of Adam, he was married to two wives. Now I quote from uh, Genesis chapter 4, verse 19. You can go check that out. It's pretty famous. Um, now, the grandson of Adam took on himself two wives. The name of one was Ada and the other name, uh, and the uh, as the uh, other name's wife uh, was Zilla. These are pretty sick names, but I would never name my daughters like that. Anyways, so this guy, the grandson of Adam, was married to two wives. So Christianity is allowed because in the Bible it says that the grandson of Adam got married to two wives. Anyways, however, Islam has corrected uh, and set various laws uh, in the concept of polygamy. The principle that per, uh, that was permitted, uh, but polygamy was limited to only four wives because because uh, before Islam, uh, people got married to more than one, more than actually more than four wives. Uh, but after Islam, uh, we also saw the, the the Prophet, as we'll get to talk about, uh, and the Imams marrying more than actually four wives. But are they special? Uh, you know, th are, are they special regardless of uh, the people? But anyways, we'll get to talk about even more. Uh, now, aside from religion, and we do uh, remind viewers to call in uh, and send messages or voice notes uh, to the show at the same number. Let's get the number back on uh, on the screen. Uh, it's plus nine six four zero six seven eighteen thirty six. That's plus nine six four. Then. Plus 964-774-067-1836. Uh, if, if you guys didn't hear me, I, I paused to drink some water. I put that on purpose just to drink some water. But anyways, uh, yeah, so uh, now aside from, uh, you know, religion, because that, that's not our main focus for tonight. Tonight we're trying to see or, you know, find out your opinion. Should polygamy be accepted? Should it be accepted? Pick up the phone. Dial that number and give me a call. Because right now, right now, right now, pick up the phone, throw out your falafel sandwich or shawarma sandwich, because I know you're Arabs, you love that falafel, and you love that shawarma and your grilled chicken and your biryanis and stuff, uh, you know, and, and your hummus Uh So, yeah, put that down and, you know, pick up the phone and call the show right now and let us know what. Uh, what we do have a text message from. Jamal from the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Now we know that women are, you know, we don't want to get that. Yeah, but anyways, Jamal from uh, KSA, Saudi Arabia. He says polygamy is accepted uh, in Muslim countries, but not in Western countries. I live in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, and people here have three, four wives. It's normal, but when I travel abroad, no one even thinks of this. Anyways, thank you very much, Jamal uh, from KSA, from Saudi Arabia, for letting us know. Uh, you know, honestly, one time I was reading, uh, you know, not, not saying that, you know, Muslims do that, but, you know, crazy people uh, that, uh, I, don't know, I don't know if they've understood religion wrong, uh, but these guys, they get, one of them got married to 53 wives, uh, uh, 40 of them were virgins, but anyways, uh, so yeah, this guy was married to 53 wives. Uh, anyways, so, as I was saying, uh, you guys should pick up the phone right now and dial the number shown below to participate in tonight's show because I really need you guys. You know, I need to find out what you guys think about uh, tonight's topic and tonight's question, which is, should polygamy be accepted? For my married men, do you want to marry another wife? Let me know if you do. Maybe in Iraq there's a few that we can hook you up with. No, I'm kidding. Uh, you know, we're, we're, not, we're, trying to, we're not trying to, you know, hook anyone up. Uh, but uh, the West claims that, uh, that many of uh, women's rights are violated 
in Muslim countries. And this being one of them, polygamy uh, being uh, a right of woman that has been violated because, uh, you know, the, according to them, why would you go marry another wife if you're already married? Now, uh, Judge Richard uh, Posner of the United States Courts of Appeal uh, for the Seventh Circuit reject, rejected a right uh, to plural marriage because it would lead to gender imbalances. And I quote, he says, if the five wealthiest men have a total of 50 wives, then women are done. Anyways, uh, similar, uh, the, the, the same-sex uh, marriage advocate, Jonathan Rauch, uh, he argues that polygamy allows high-status men to, ha to, to, hoard women, uh, to hoard wives and destabilizes society. Um, so basically what they're trying to say, if the rich marry all the women, then where do I go? Who do I marry? Who do I look at? You know, um, who do I uh, go home to? Uh, but anyways, uh, around 58, we do have, before we get into st uh, statistics, we have an audio message uh, from, from Zahra. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It is Hawra from Canada. Um, I think that this is a very interesting topic. Uh, and not only that, but it's a very controversial topic as well. Uh, polygamy, as you know, is is illegal in many Western countries. Um, in Islam, it is halal to ha to be in such a relationship, but there are many rules, and these rules many many men don't follow, and that's that's why I believe many women specifically are against these types of relationships. So, in my opinion, I I, I personally am against it, but. Um, I don't know. Again, it it, it lies in uh, in uh, both. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, uh, Sister Hawra from Canada, um, who was participating in the show. Uh, now, honestly, she 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 mentioned a few points. It it, it is a very controversial topic, and trust me when I say that. Um, uh, a lot of people uh, tend to look at it uh, by, with only one eye, uh, and the other half uh, eye closed. But you know. Uh, everyone has their own opinion. Thank you very much uh, for joining us tonight. Uh, now, uh, around 58 out of nearly 200 sovereign states recognizes uh, polygamous marriages, the vast majority of them being uh, Muslim countries uh, in Africa and in Asia. Now, a, a lot of people, when, when uh, uh, polygamy is raised, uh, they always tend to look at um, only sexual relationships other than uh, maybe there are other reasons why people aren't, uh, or, or reasons why people aren't are, are ignoring uh, instead of uh, focusing on the main reasons, or maybe someone has a circumstance. Uh, but we do have a caller from the USA, Muntadar. Salamun alaikum, Walter. Welcome to hashtag LNT. Uh, and tonight's question is Should polygamy be accepted? Hello? Hello? Yes, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Welcome to hashtag LNT. And tonight's question is uh, Should polygamy be accepted? What do you think? Um, uh, should be polygamy uh, accepted in the society? Yeah. The Western society, you said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, I think, well, in my opinion, I think it should be accepted. I'm with you on that. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, uh, yeah, because, on that. because in the uh, Western society, we have uh, a lack of, uh, 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 we call it a forbidden relationship. Mm -hmm. We have a, for, a for, we have a lot of forbidden relationship, unfortunately, that uh uh kind of like uh, de uh decorated the 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 uh the marriage to uh, to the point that uh it's not it's not a really a thing in the western society mm -hmm. okay and second of all uh i i i agree with uh, polygamy because it will uh, make will. Uh, make uh, a woman safe how because it's not it's not going to uh 
it's not going to make make any uh, any um, harassments that uh, that we are uh, seeing in every. Um, if you look at the statistics from the United States, which I, which where I live, uh, the the uh, female trafficking and female abuse at the highest point. And by doing so, by marrying uh, marrying a, a husband who has uh, a, a, a several, even even if he has a several uh, several wife or one wife, it should be uh, comfortable for her to uh, to be in a place that prevent her to uh, be in uh, in a safe places. Thank you very much uh, for joining us tonight, Brother Muntala, uh from the USA. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, the points you mentioned uh, were, you know, I don't want to uh, get kicked out, but, you know, uh, they, they, they were uh, very, very uh, much uh, accepted. And hopefully, uh, if, if, if you are married, then go ahead. Go get married another, uh, another time. If, uh, if you're not, of course, of course. I mean, I don't want to start encouraging people to get married. Of course. I mean, if, if, if there is a need for it, uh, then do go, go get married again. But if there's no need, you know, you got to satisfy your woman and make her happy. You know, if she is happy, happy life, happy wife, happy life. Unhappy wife, miserable life. That's from Transformers 3. Uh, but anyways, uh, so uh, back to the main topic. Uh, the main topic tonight is about polygamy. Should polygamy be accepted in Western societies or should it be accepted in every society? Uh, now we we all know that uh, you know a, a, a lot of the people who do marry uh, a second, third, or fourth wife um, are mainly Muslim, uh, and of course uh, I'm not saying that everyone does abide by the laws, but some people abuse it at the same time, uh, 100 percent. But um, let's go and look at uh, real life examples uh, of polygamy. You know, imagine you're applying, uh, you know, for, for a job. Uh, a job at Walmart and uh, you know the application that you're filling out and th it says the marital status uh, and then you fill out uh, you know uh, yes I'm married and then the name of your wife and then you forget you know which one do I mention do I mention the first second or third you know do I mention Sara uh, Haifa or whatever you know whatever I'm just making random names uh, but yeah imagine you're doing that how embarrassing would that be you know uh, especially if uh, uh, the person who is uh, about to interview you, uh, he's going to feel sad for you. He's going to probably give you the job right away because, you know, you're trying to feel like, what, three miles you've married uh, to three. Uh, but the lines are now open. Don't forget to call and don't forget to let us know what you think about tonight's question and tonight's topic. In your opinion, should polygamy be accepted? Should it or should it not? Do let us know what you think. Now, uh, a lot of people, uh, when, when, when they go online, there was a debate uh, or a survey that was conducted by debate.org, and that survey uh, it was made in the United States. Uh, now, they found that 56% voted yes to polygamy, and 44% voted no to polygamy. I think, in my opinion, I think the men were the 56 and the women were 44, you know, because a woman, you know, she, she's jealous, she's overprotective of a man, uh, you know, and trying to keep that man to herself. But let us know what you think. Let's go into a very, very quick break. Uh, let me drink some water. Uh, before we do that, uh, the, the, the yeah, so let's go into a very short break. Let me just drink some water. Go ahead. Welcome back, dear viewers. I hope you, inshallah, uh, enjoyed that quick three second or five second break of hashtag LNT. Yeah. Now, back to, to the show. Uh, no, no, we can't say that on live television. Yeah, I was just getting a few comments uh, about tonight's show. Anyways, uh, now, we have an audio message from Ahmed Anwar. Okay, from? Okay. And I'm really interested. Assalamu alaikum. 
This is uh, Ahmed Anwar from the US. Thank you very much indeed for having me on your program. You're welcome. And I'm really interested in your choice, which is polygamy. Uh, in short, uh, Islam allows polygamy and permits men under specific circumstances to have at most four wives at any given time. Now, polygamy was customary, of course, before Islam and was not abrogated with the coming of Islam. Instead, Islam has corrected and set various conditions for the practice. The principle was permitted, but polygamy was limited to only four wives. Uh, in short, in every society, there are a large number of unmarried women who need and desire to marry, and if they do not... Uh... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Uh, what, what, was that it? I don't know, but thank you very much uh, for joining us tonight. Brother Ahmed Anwar from the United States. SubhanAllah, all of the United States tonight. Uh, you know, it's 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 good to have uh, guys who are uh, you know looking forward for that. But as I said before, guys, come on, it's accepted in Islam. You know, a woman just accept it. Polygamy is accepted. Why can't you accept it? But anyways, uh, tonight is, uh, is 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 a very fun night. Hopefully, inshallah, uh, you know we can please our women if we're married. Uh, and you know, if you're not married, go look for that wife. What are you doing? You're just chilling, watching Netflix and chills. Uh, instead of uh, netbooks, uh, textbooks, and skills. Anyways, we do have a message from. We have a message from Russia from the UAE. Um, so, due to technical difficulties, uh, we can't show. We can't. Sorry. So we can't display the message on screen, but we can read it. Um, According to Russia, so she says, polygamy is, accept, is a subject that is often misunderstood. Uh, it shouldn't be a habit, but however, uh, it, sh it should be accepted under certain circumstances. Loving a woman and mating are two separate passions. Thank you. Uh, that was the weirdest message ever. The weirdest message ever. I don't know why. There's internet, there's Wi-Fi everywhere. But the co-producer had to read it in my ear instead of sending me uh, on uh, WhatsApp or Telegram. But, yeah, thank you, Russia, from the UAE. The co-producer, Baba, send me the message. What are you doing reading in my ear? But, yeah, thank you very much. Um, moving on to the third segment. Now, uh, every episode, well, every episode, uh, we've dedicated the last uh, segment uh, for uh, the viewpoint of uh, the scholars and the viewpoint of Ahlul Bayt alayhim uh, salam Now, uh, as many know, as, as millions of people across the world know that there are many conditions uh, when a person wants uh, to a second and third marriage and a fourth marriage. Um, now, first of all, the man has to uh, be financially stable and financially able uh, to support more than one wife. Um, you know, you can't be earning like you can't be earning like eight bucks an hour and trying to get married uh, to, to to a second wife. You know, you need to be at least uh, within the range of uh, six thousand dollars to. Uh, that, that's even the wall. You can't even get married to a second wife if you're getting six thousand dollars. You have to get you know at least ten thousand plus in order to support another wife uh, you know because you'd be having children running around the house uh, but anyways so you need to be financially stable and financially able to support that woman the extra woman that, that, that second or third woman that you're getting married to and of course you have to be equal in treatment equal in everything so one day you go here the next day you gotta go here one day you eat here the next day you gotta eat here uh, different meals uh, you know uh, drink different drinks and, and, and all that good stuff. You know, whatever you do for the first wife, you got to do to the second wife and you got to do to the third wife. So basically, if you're buying a Versace watch for your, for your wife, wow, you got to buy another three Versace wa watches for the other three. Or you buy a cologne, you got to buy three extras. Uh, and I don't know who has the extra cash to spend. Uh, but we do have one minute left. Now, uh, you know, trust me when I say, if you're making one wife live in a nice house, that's it, you gotta make the other wife live in a, cause really you don't need a headache. You know, it's either you get married once or 
you know, if you, if you do have the extra cash and the extra love, you know, why not go share it to the other woman? But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states in the Quran, uh, in chapter 4, verse 3, He says, uh, Then marry other women who seem virtuous to you, two or three or four. Wow. And if you fear that you cannot do them justice, then only marry one. So this verse sums up the show. Go marry one, two, three, or four. Well, you're already married to one, but two, three, four. And if you can't do justice to them, what basically I just said earlier, you know, you can't favor one over the other. You have to favor all of them together, you know, have a, a nice family of like three wives. That's a deadly life right there. Uh, but, you know, uh, basically at the end of the show, we can always say, uh, let's hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us the ability uh, to support our women, uh, you know, and, and, and have them live a very happy life and live happy with them as well. Now, thank you very much for joining us tonight on hashtag Al-Anti. See you guys in the next episode. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.